What is up guys, I hope everyone is doing well. And about two weeks ago I went ahead and put the i7 build guide together and the video is doing really well and everyone seems to be enjoying it. So it's that time where we are going to go ahead and benchmark it. First of all, I would just like to say thank you to all the sponsors of the Unilad series and that is of course box.co.uk, Unilad themselves and Asus as well as Cooler Master. So thank you for making this series possible. It is the last build guide in this series but I will be continuing to do build guides on the channel and hopefully bring you guys a rising build as I know a lot of you are looking for that. So just before we go ahead and show the benchmarks, let me just refresh your memory on what's in the build. Okay, so for the processor, of course, we went with the i7-7700K and we went ahead and paired this up with the Asus Z270 Maximus Hero motherboard. Cooling the CPU is the massive Cooler Master Master Air Maker 8, which I think looks absolutely awesome. The graphics card of choice is the Asus Strix GTX 1080, and for the RAM, we went with 16GB of HyperX Savage clocked at 3000MHz. For storage, we have a 500GB 960 EVO M.2 from Samsung, and we have paired this up with a 2TB Firecuda from Seagate. The build itself has been built inside the Cooler Master Master Case Maker 5, but I must say it was a pleasure to build in with all that extra space. Okay, so for the benchmarks, as usual with the build guides, what I have done is went ahead and tested everything at stock. There is no overclocks, nothing like that, so it's basically just what to expect as soon as you go ahead and put this together. So of course you can go ahead and improve on this by overclocking etc. And all the games are run at 1440p, so just please bear that in mind. So genetic benchmarks first of all, I ran Fire Strike Extreme and we achieved an overall score of 9,471 with a graphics score of 10,277. Moving on to Unigine Heaven, we set the quality to Ultra and Tessellation was set to Extreme and we managed a score of 2,447 with an average FPS of 97.1. Okay, so we all love generic benchmarks but most importantly, how well does it perform while gaming? Well, first of all, as always, I went ahead and ran GTA 5. All the settings were at very high with MSAA at times 4 and shadows set to softest. The game played super smooth with no issues at all and we achieved an average FPS of 84, so no issues there. Now on to my favourite game, Battlegrounds. For the settings, everything was set to ultra except for shadows and foliage, which I set to low, as these are the settings I opt for when playing the game. As Battlegrounds is a pretty hard game to benchmark due to many factors like open play and city areas, I made sure to benchmark in many places on the map, then I took an average and we've seen around 78 FPS which is absolutely fine and definitely makes this game super playable. Moving on to a less demanding title, I fired up Overwatch. I used the Ultra preset and as you would expect it ran super smooth and we've seen an average frame rate of 128, so certainly nothing to worry about here. Next up was Rise of the Tomb Raider. I went ahead and enabled DX12 and ran the benchmark on the very high preset. There were no issues to note and we achieved an average FPS of 92. So as you can see guys, the build turned out absolutely fine and plays games at 1440p with no issues at all. Of course, as I mentioned, this is at stock, so if you go ahead and overclock etc and do a few tweaks, I'm sure you will see that bettered. And obviously if you mess about with game settings etc but overall this is definitely a pretty awesome machine so if you have any questions about the build guys let me know down below also let me know exactly what kind of rising build you would like to see on the channel of course this will be a build guide personally i would love to go ahead and put a super budget rising build together but it's up to you guys so let me know down below as always thank you so much for tuning in stay safe be kind to each other, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.